So we're here at the Mobile World Congress, and uh, who are you? I'm Kurt Schmidtick with Lightpoint Corporation. So what do you do here? Well, Lightpoint is in the business of making production testing, making sure that smartphones, tablets, PCs, anything with a wireless connection operates properly. So, so it's not so scary. there's, for example, this, what is this device? What is that? So we're showing today our, our NFC tester. So near-field communication is becoming a very hot yeah. market okay. these days. You know what this is? Yeah. But the uh, it's a, uh, methods for testing are very testing. Uh, primitive. So, uh, Most companies simply wave the smartphone over the uh, NFC card reader and look for a pass-no-pass -pass kind of situation. But pass, no pass is not a very good way to test a product. So we make a tester that actually measures the parametric performance of the device and gives the manufacturer a much better idea how the device performs. Nice. So uh, you sell this to device makers, all this stuff. Exactly. Who, who's your customer? Is that secret? Uh, some are secret, some are not, but you know, the largest manufacturers in the world, the Foxcons, the, uh, the uh, boy, how many can I say, how many I can't. Ah, but, so they buy just one and that's it? They don't need more? Hundreds or thousands. How many do they need to buy of these devices? Uh, with the test. testers, it could be hundreds of Ah, so the whole the production line, that you test every single one and then... You should test every single you one should. to make sure. Yep. So it's not just testing the design once? No, no, so this isn't a conformance tester, this is a production tester. This is all the devices that go through your production line, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet, but everything you want to run through production to make sure it works right. So what are you showing here? So this is more of a lab grade device. This is a lab grade device for device characterization. So before they actually... What are you showing here, for example? Well, there's a pretty circuit here with some of the devices that you'd actually characterize. Things like power amplifiers, front end modules. So to make sure they are operating properly, you need to characterize them. So uh, this box, our Z-series device. There's uh, yeah, more information uh, on the uh, kind of smartphone or a tablet to make sure they operate properly when they actually go into production. So, uh, um, so each cable goes to a different yeah, yeah. sensor or something? Well, those cables would be connected to the device being tested. So it could be a, uh, a smartphone, but then there's typically kind of radio con uh, antenna connections. That so go you go there. inside the, on the PCB directly? On the PCB, exactly right. right. And then you basically, uh, how many competitors do you have doing this stuff in the, map, in the world? Probably against the uh, Z-Series products, maybe three or four competitors. And where are you based? We're in San Jose, California, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and our mothership is in Boston. And it's really important, no? Because you want to have devices that have good radios. Exactly. Well, if you don't, then it's really bad. If you think about how many smartphones are shipped last year, a billion smartphones. They need to be tested, otherwise the user experience is compromised. Is it possible that some of the cheap ones are not tested and then it's just bad? It's just yeah, bad? exactly. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the, uh, the cheaper uh, products made out of Asia, these kind of knockoff uh, phones are often not tested. Or not tested well. You talk with Shenzhen. You talk yeah. with them, right? Absolutely. We and they're all customers. welcome to buy a few of your devices. Well, actually, many of our customers are in Shenzhen and they actually do buy. They're testing more and more because they're trying to build the brand equity of their companies. Products that aren't high quality tend not to sell very well, or they sell at very low margins. If you can demonstrate quality in your product, you can higher margins, the company is more successful. So it's maybe not, it's not cheap, but it's worth it to have it? Absolutely worth it, right. And who's your competitor, you don't want to say? Uh, you know, our competitors, some of the uh, European brands, Rodin Schwartz is a good example of one of our competitors. Alright, so uh, how long have you been in the market? We've been about 10 years making production testers. Alright, so what's the next thing? Because now there's 5G, there's all this stuff, I don't know. Exactly, right. So we've been following the Wi-Fi standards. We're going to see a lot more uh, activity in higher frequencies. 60 gigahertz, uh, Y gig. Uh, white space? White space is all we have. That? We have a tester for white space. It's really important lower not to interfere with everybody else. Exactly. That's what you much lower frequencies, so we, have a, we already have a test solution for white space as well. All right. And uh, all these uh, radios and, and uh, phones are all on par, very low power. Exactly. And uh, you measure that, it's important, because it's so low power, you don't want it to be too low, right? Exactly. Just the right balance. Exactly. You want to have the right output power, you know, A, to have good range, but B, also to stay within the specifications that are set by the standards community and by the, uh, the, the certification bodies. All right, so I'll send this to all the Shenzhen factories so they can make sure they 